Hey everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I'm taking a look at this magnetic keyboard case for the iPad Pro. This is from ESR. This is called their Rebound magnetic keyboard case. And if it looks familiar, it you know it is because it really looks basically like an Apple Magic keyboard. Now I do have to apologize. Uh, I'm doing a voiceover on this video because for whatever reason, when I recorded the unboxing video uh, with my camera and lavalier microphone, uh, no audio got recorded. So I didn't want to kind of have to go redo everything. So I'm just going to do a voiceover on this and maybe trim down the video itself because I know a lot of people often complain that my videos are too long. So as you can see, uh, you just basically pull the inner box out of the outer box here, uh, if I can get that open. And you'll see right inside there's a uh, paper cover that kind of showcases what the keyboard looks like. And you can flip that open. And the keyboard's basically just inside. Some instructions, there's a QR code if you want to jump to the ESR website and watch a quick setup video. Um, but otherwise, a little bit of instructions how to turn the keyboard on, what function keys to press to enable Bluetooth so that you can do the pairing. Obviously, you get a uh, guide and a charging cable. So that's a USB-C charging cable that you can charge the keyboard. Uh, it does not charge from the iPad, so you do need to charge that separately. It does have an 800 milliamp hour battery. Um, so you should be able to use this for quite a long time. On their website it says you can work daily for three months or nightly for two weeks on a single charge. Uh, by nightly they just mean if you're using the actual uh, the key lights or the backlighting on the keyboard. Obviously that eats up more battery. So as you can see here, uh, you know, basic black design has that cantilever sort of uh, back like the Magic Keyboard where you can kind of set it at various angles. The iPad itself will just magnetically mount to the back. It does have a soft touch material, so it kind of feels like that matte soft touch uh, kind of material on the outside of the case. You can see there's a little bit of a, a flip uh, flap in the front, I guess you can call it, uh, that you can use to uh, hold the uh, Apple Pencil on there. So if you have the case closed, you have your Apple Pencil there, you can flip that over. Now, as you can see, this is my iPad 12.9 inch Pro. Uh, apologize for the fingerprints on the screen. And it just attaches magnetically, right? So you can see just kind of pull, uh, snaps on there. Now, the one thing I'll say is the magnets are not as strong as the Apple, uh, Apple Magic Keyboard. I don't have a Magic Keyboard, but I've played with one before. And the magnets on that seem stronger than this. So you have to just, I guess, probably be a little bit careful uh, of how you're using this. I would imagine it's maybe more prevalent on the 12.9 inch iPad because it's heavier, but maybe on the smaller one, uh, the 11 inch, you might not have as much of a problem. The other thing I noticed is while it does have that soft touch material, it does pick up oils from your fingers pretty easily. So like I just handled it here a little bit and you can see, well, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but uh, it does pick up fingerprints, which kind of sucks because I'm a little bit, you're anal and <laughs> uh, I get anxious about fingerprints all over stuff. I don't know, maybe I just have OCD. Uh, but other than that, the actual device keyboard fits really nicely around the iPad. You can see the USB-C connector there to charge it, as well as the on and off switch. Now, to be honest, I really like the feel of this. I mean, it has a very... Apple-esque uh, feel for the actual key action. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, the trackpad works well, very smooth, same sort of thing as you would expect from an Apple product. And to be honest, if I didn't know and somebody gave me this and it didn't have any branding on it, I might be like, oh, this is a really nice Apple device, right? Uh, so anyways, yeah, from that perspective, I think the build quality is nice. It does have top row function keys that you can use for the different multimedia, uh, volume control and various things as you would expect and like I said the trackpad's really nice it has a couple rubber bumpers there for the screen when you shut it so that the screen doesn't hit the keys so that's that's uh, also really nice and overall I mean it just really well made now the one thing I kind of wish is that it did 
uh, recline a little bit further. So be able to push the iPad back a little bit further uh, towards like the desk table or, or what you ha whatever you have it on. Because as it is right now, it's almost super upright. So depending on how you're sitting at your desk or whatever and typing or wherever you're sitting with this on your lap, uh, you know, to me, it seems like it'd be nice to have it be able to push back just a little bit more for comfort. Now, it's really hard to see here. I apologize. I couldn't get the lights dim enough in the studio to be able to see the actual uh, backlight, but there's seven different backlight colors and three different brightnesses, and you can control that all with just, you know, uh, some key combinations on the actual keyboard. So you can do that, and it's nice to have the backlight, definitely, uh, although, for me personally, I don't really use my keyboards at night, so I don't really type at night, so it's not really that useful for me, but obviously other people have different use cases for it. So like I said, I mean, this is a good alternative to the Magic Keyboard if you don't want to spend the exorbitant amount of money that an Apple product cost. This thing runs around $110 on the ESR website. You can get it on Amazon too, I think. Um, so overall, you know, it's it's a fraction of the price of the actual Apple product, and it is comparable, right? I mean, a little bit, a few trade-offs here and there, but overall, I think this is a, a great keyboard if you're looking for, um, you know, this type of thing for your iPad. So I'll link to this in the description. You can find some more information on the ESR website. If you have any questions, go ahead and post those below. I'll be happy to answer. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars